The state of Connecticut is now testing a new alcohol detection system that has the potential to eliminate drunk driving. And the first vehicle on the road in Connecticut will be driven by its commissioner of the Department of Transportation, Garrett Ucolito. We can really end drunk driving with this technology. And I think for me as a transportation professional, that's the most exciting part, is that there's a tool available that can end a huge portion of the fatalities on our roadways. DADS, the Driver Alcohol Detection System for Safety, is a program that has brought together the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Automotive Coalition for Traffic Safety. The announcement of Connecticut's testing program drew high praise. The idea of cars preventing a driver from hurting or killing someone gives us all at MAD so much hope that there will be a day when no family and community is impacted by impaired driving. As Connecticut joins the Driven to Protect initiative this year and becomes our newest partner, it becomes part of a collective effort to ensure that the technology reaches its full potential. Nineteen years ago, our son Dustin was killed by a drunk driver. This system that is here today, the dad's alcohol detection system, has the potential to eliminate drunk driving and make sure that no other family will have to suffer as we have. In my state car, um, I do have an alcohol detection system installed. Um, and in our highway safety outreach vehicle that we'll be using uh, to go out to community events, um, we also have one installed. We're going to be adding four more uh, systems in our fleet. Uh, we're going to put them in four pickup trucks um, this coming federal fiscal year. So we'll have a total of six CONDOT vehicles with these systems installed. Being tested at KEA Technologies in Littleton, Massachusetts, the alcohol detection system uses proven passive driver assistance technology to keep drivers from driving drunk. Connecticut is part of an exhaustive testing program to ensure that the system works consistently in all conditions. We use a three-pronged approach. Inside the lab, then you have to introduce the one big variable, which is a human. So we do our clinical testing. And then the final part is the wild, wild west of car environment. You're driving, temperature's changing, there's potholes, there's all kinds of environment. State deployments help us in collecting what we call naturalistic driving studies. They're driving normally. This is their car. They're going to collect, and we're going to collect that data. With drunk drivers continuing to kill approximately 10,000 people every year and costing more than $194 million per year, it's good to know that Dad's system is nearing the finish line. Our goal is to have this done, the breath sensor done, ready for automakers to take it on by 2025.